Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Another awesome day, another episode of Cyber CEO. My name is Jello. I'm the host of the podcast. So, another awesome Cyber CEO on the show right now. Sean, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for asking. And of course, being here on the show, we know you're very busy. So, for the benefit of all of our listeners, can you tell us something about yourself? Uh, so, I am a realtor in northern New Jersey. I've been in the real estate business uh, going on like 18, 19 years now, since 2003, full time. Um, absolutely love it. And, uh, and we're building every day. We're growing. All right. That's good. That's the most important thing, growing every day. Now, um, just to ask as well, how long have you been with Cyberbacker? So we got involved probably, uh, it's probably like November 2020. So we're probably about eight months now, eight, nine months, because we're uh, you know, kind, of, kind of rounding into uh, August here, 2021. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So almost eight months. Now let me ask you: um, Is this your first time working with a virtual team member? It is not actually. Um, I actually had a, a, a prior bad experience with a with a different company, um, and so you know I was a little reluctant at first to go with Cyberbacker, and, mm -hmm. and after going through, I would say. I'm going to say about two or three months worth of research. Mm -hmm. I kept going back to Cyberbacker. I kept going back to Cyberbacker. I'm like, with this one here and this one here, and I kept going back to Cyberbacker. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it was, it was really the best decision ever. All right. That's good. That's good. So if you don't mind me asking, how about your Cyberbacker right now? Can you tell me something about him? He's absolutely awesome. He's, he's, he's not only he's not only a part of the team, like I feel like he's part of my family, right? We talk every day, you know, uh, uh, we have very deep conversations, right? Like I feel like we know each other uh, in, in, a, in a very personal way. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, he's he's just super committed to the team. Love him, absolutely love him. I think that is very, very important, right? Um, building that relationship, of course, not just treating someone like um, a team member, hey, do this, do that, right? Right, absolutely, yeah. All right. So let me ask you then, um, what makes this type of, let's say, setup? Because it's not the typical setup that we have, like having an assistant, the same room, same building, same office, right? What makes this kind of relationship a successful partnership? The communication is key. Right. And so every morning, you know, he checks in with me. I get a I get a I get a I get a text every single morning. Good morning, Sean, with a smiley face. And uh, and I know he's checked in. He's checked in. He's locked in. He's dialed in. And, um, you know, from there, even, you know, in the beginning, a lot of it was, I felt like I really needed to be like super hands-on and I was always really going back and forth and back and forth. But now he's grown into to such a great, um, such a great role for the team and such a, such an independent role that, you know, he'll text me instead of actually, you know, texting me questions, he'll just tell me what he's doing. And I just trust that, that he's doing the right thing. So the huge piece of communication in the beginning has actually gotten, uh, I don't want to say so much less, but he's mm -hmm. been so much more self-reliant because of all that stuff and, you know, uh, the communication and the talking and and just really dialing into the way that my systems were and how I operate has allowed him to to be free and make his own decisions at the back end too, which is which has been super helpful because, you know, in this crazy real estate market, you know, I'm busy, my system's busy, like everybody's everybody's super busy and it's, there's, uh, there's, there's really no... I guess really no like babysitting involved, right? Like he's able to do his own thing, which is super awesome. And of course, before you move away from the babysitting part that you mentioned, you need to build that trust, right? Let me Absolutely. ask you something related to that. Did you have a hard time maybe um, trusting or giving up the tasks to your cyber backer? You know, I'm the kind of person that really opens up and gives a lot of trust up front. Um, so it, I'll be honest with you, it really wasn't that difficult for me. Um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm very trustworthy up front. However, if that gets crossed, then my barriers go up. And so far, that has not been the case. And I do not anticipate that ever being the case. So yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty simple. You know, again, super nice, uh, super nice guy, um, you know, very open. And, and the process in getting him was also, uh, was also a great experience as well. So, All right. which is 
That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, just to ask then, since he's been with you for almost eight months now, how much time has he saved you in your business, in your team? Hours on hours on hours. Look, I was one of the guys that, you know, even, even before I came to KW, I was a big prospector, like prospecting was, was a big part of my business. And, um, you know, when I, when I came to KW a few years back, like one of my things was like sit in front of my desk, call for sale by owners, call expireds, call circle prospecting. And, you know, my, my daily schedule, my daily routine, 930 to 1230, you know, I had my whole system and who I was calling. Mm -hmm. And as, as much as I believe in that system and as much as I, I believe that is required for every single agent to do mm -hmm. once COVID hit and, you know, our office shut down for a couple months here, um, you know, my wife was teaching at home who, you know, she was never a teacher before in her life. And so she needed some help there. The real estate market got crazy. My time was better spent in front of my past clients. Mm -hmm. And there was a huge piece of the business that began to, um, kind of slip up, right? Like calling the expires, calling for sale by owners, doing all those people, uh, calling all those people. And he filled that role perfectly. And so now he does that for me. And, you know, it just allows me to be out there in front of people and, and doing what I do, um, you know, in, in terms of like creating relationships and now bring more people to the team and, and just really focusing on a, on a I don't really, I don't really say like a, a lot more direct income producing activities because those are direct income producing activities, but more, I would say more high dollar productive activities. Okay, gotcha. So since we're already talking about the dollar, um, can you mention how much additional revenue has Cyberback created for you and your team? Uh, I probably couldn't put an exact dollar figure on it right off the cuff here, but I could tell you, um, we have we probably have our eighth or ninth deal under contract and we've already closed five or six. Um, our average commission here is about 10,000, 12,000. You know, I have a, a couple double ended deals here at a, a pretty high commission. Um, so from a, from a revenue perspective, I mean, there's, there's no question. It's, uh, definitely a great choice. Great choice. All right. Now, since we're already talking about the tasks early as well, you touched on it a bit. What are the things that you're having your cyberbacker do for you and your team right now so that our listeners would know what a cyberbacker can do? He's my prospector. He is. I, so in my uh, in my listing book, he is listed as my outbound call specialist. So that's what he is. Calling, getting those leads for you. Is that right? Yes. Yep. All right. Now, of course, these type of roles could grow. Of course, you've been with your cyber backer for just eight months. Of course, it could grow in the next few months, weeks, even the year, right? What are some of the things that you're considering having him do for your business in the future? Uh, I am definitely considering him leading a team of people just like him wow. and being able to train those people. Yeah, because he's, he's great. He's great on the phones. Um, you know, he's, he's great with the scripts. He's, he's very, he's very genuine and sincere on the phone. And, um, you know, he has a, he has a way of connecting with people that every, I go on listing appointments. We're like, Oh, I thought Dale was coming. I love Dale. How's Dale? Can we get Dale on the phone? And so, um, you know, if, uh, if, if there's anything I can have him do, it would be to lead a team of people just like him. Wow. Of course, for you to be able to grow your business as well. Right. And I think the thing that you mentioned earlier, being genuine over the phone, I think that is very important in his role, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yes. All right. Now, um, mm -hmm. and so, what Cyberbacker does, and, and this was a huge differentiator for me and in, in what really made me, you know, gravitate towards Cyberbacker is the training that you guys do internally, um, which definitely takes a big stress load off of me and my team here. Um, you know, which, uh, script practice, um, you know, you guys have uh, the Friday meetings and stuff like that. It's almost like the culture within Cyberbacker is such a strong culture and it's very it's very like, hey, we're all going to win. We're all going to win together. We're all going to win for, for the teams. We're all going to win for the cyber backers. And it's just, you know, that's that's me looking from the outside in. And that was a huge determining factor from the training aspect, from the culture aspect. And, you know, again, how you, how you guys treat everybody within the organization. So. Yes, of course, you're a cyber backer, just to let you know, it's just, you know, we don't just don't partner you with one person, that's your cyber backer, that's it. But you also have the support system, of course, the whole company to back up your cyber backer. So training doesn't stop within that training period that he has. So no worries. Now, um, also, I know these type of relationships could be bumpy at times, but did you have any obstacles or let's say challenges, opportunities while working with cyber backer? Not really. I mean, there's there's maybe been a couple instances where, where he was a little too persistent, mm -hmm. um, you know, in, in calling people and talking people and, and really pushing for appointments where I would get a call on the back end or somebody in my office got a call. 
Um, but I'd rather get those calls than not have any calls at all, right? And so that, that's kind of that trade-off. Um, I'd rather get the calls that somebody's a little too persistent that they should back off than, you know, than, than not get any listings, right? And so, um, so that's a trade-off that I appreciate. But other than that, no, I mean, look, there's there's been a couple times where you know stormy weather has kind of interrupted internet and stuff like that, but nothing nothing really earth shattering. But just a just an amazing story too. Uh -huh. um, our first week that we were together, it might have been you know maybe going into our second week. It was right after his, uh -huh. his ten day uh, on ramp training. Um, there was a there was a typhoon actually in the Philippines, and when I tell you that he would call me and say, don't worry, uh, you know, my internet's down, but I'm gonna make my calls, give me a half hour, I'm gonna get it back up. Like he was on a mission in the middle of a typhoon to get his internet back up and continue working. And, and for that, there was, you know, complete respect. And, you know, what we'd love to do is like reward monetarily for that, right? Because mm -hmm. that's that's going way above and beyond. So, um, so yeah, that's, you know, and that, that, that's when I knew that I made the right choice in uh, picking Cyberbacker. Of course, one word for it, commitment, right? Right, 100%. Now, again, for the benefit of everyone who's listening right now to the podcast, there's still a lot of people who are having second thoughts. Something is stopping them from hiring their own cyber backer. What advice would you be able to give these people? Get out of your own head. <laughs> That's the scary part, right? And I'm like, the and again, the one thing that Cyberbacker, um, when we first spoke, they're like, hey, you know, we want a one year commitment. And I'm like, one year commitment? Like 15, what if it doesn't work? What if, and that was always a quote, what if it doesn't work? What if, it, what if it's a bad relationship, right? And so the fact that you guys go out as an organization and hire one person to partner with the person who's actually paying the company, that to me really spoke volumes, right? So like there's a commitment from your side to the agent side or to the whatever, you know, industry side that you're, that, that is hiring you. And, and as scary as that seems, that's probably the most important element in terms of who you're gonna get and the quality of the person that you're gonna get. So for the people that are on the fence, I mean, the, the best thing I could say is get out of your own head, get out of your own way and just, just really do it. it. It works out for sure. Just do it. Of course, you also have to commit to yourself and being a leader, leading this cyber backer as well, right? That's a scary part too. That is definitely a scary part too, right? Like 8.48 a.m. every single morning, I know I'm getting that phone call no matter what I'm doing, right? Like if I don't feel good, it doesn't matter. I now have somebody that I'm accountable to just as they're accountable to me. Yes, that's actually true. A two-way street relationship, right? All right. Now, I know that your cyber backer would be listening to this episode. I'm sure of that. Would you want to give him a shout out? Oh my gosh, absolutely. Dale Palanca, he's the best out there. Definitely the best that's ever done it. Helped my business so much. And, you know, hopefully, again, I'm, I'm helping him and his family. Um, I, he's, I feel like he's part of the family. So, yeah, huge shout out to Dale Palanca, man. Keep crushing it. Definitely keep crushing it. <laughs> Definitely, he is part of the team, part of your family and your business, of course. Now, to all of our listeners, if you'd like to get more time and get more business for your, of course, get more revenue for your business, you know what to do. Get over that fence, get your own cyber backer. Sean, thank you very much for being on the show. We really appreciate your time. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Thank you for having me. And if anybody wants to reach out to me, you guys have some specific questions, by all means, you can reach out to me. My you know, my email, Sean, S-H-A-W-N, at Annan Real Estate, A-N-E-N realestate.com and you can find me on social media everywhere at and real estate all right that's perfect sean i know there will be a lot of people reaching out to you asking questions and why cyberbacker thank you very much for that and we'll talk to you real soon again okay thank you for listening to our daily dose of cyber ceo stay tuned to know more about how cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age you can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.